in this video we are going to study what is filtration operation and how this filtration operation is useful in sugar industry okay so first what is filtration first what is filtration so today's topic filtration so what is filtration so first point Filtration is operation used for separation of solids from suspension in liquid, that is slurry. So here, very important that filtration is used for separation of solids from suspension in liquid, that is slurry. So what is the slurry? Slurry means what? So just try to understand here. What do you mean by slurry? So slurry means solids present in liquid. Just try to get the difference between slurry and solution. While solution means solids dissolve in in solvent. In short, in short, sugar solution. Sugar is dissolved in the water. Then we have the sugar solution. While if you want to take the example of slurry, muddy water, muddy water. That means you know that in the rainy season, small amount of soil particles in this water. We call this as a muddy water. So that is slurry. That means here solids not dissolve but these are present in the liquid that is called slurry okay we have calcium carbonate slurry but just important thing that you just try to get the difference between slurry and solution in slurry solid particles present in the liquid in suspension form or that may settle at the bottom ones while solution means solid particles dissolve in the solution Okay, so first point, filtration. This operation is used for separation of solids from suspension in liquid that is slurry. Okay, now what is the for this filtration? The main requirement is filter media. So this filter media is used for separation. So when this slurry is passed around this filter media, only clear liquid passes to this filter media, and and solid particles that retain on this filter media okay so this filter media is used for filtration then go for third point the product removed from filter media is called wet solid the product removed from filter media is called wet solid or residue so whatever top whatever retain on this filter media that is removed and that is called wet solid that is called wet solid point number 4 the product passes through filter media is called filtrate the product passes through filter media is called filtrate okay so just i will draw you small diagram and with that you will get this particular okay so suppose you know that this is our filtration funnel in chemistry lab you come across with this particular one instrument okay you put here filter paper you put here filter paper and And just lower any slurry material here. Okay, so just you pass when you pour this slurry material on this particular filtration funnel. Then what happens here? We have this filter media. So only only clear liquid passes to this filter media. So only clear liquid passes to the filter media. Here you get the outlet. Okay, while the solid particle that retain on this filter media that is called that is called wet solid this is called wet solid or this is also called this is also called residue okay while clear liquid that passes through this filter media filter paper that is called filtrate that is called filtrate that is called filtrate okay so here input is so here input is slurry and there are two output wet solid is the output And filtrate is out. Okay, so in this operation, one input and two out. Okay, 
Now we'll co concentrate on the block diagram of this particular filtration operation. We'll concentrate on block diagram of this filtration operation. Okay, and in this block diagram, A stands for solid material and B stands for liquid. A stands for solid, B stands for liquid. And in and in slurry, we have both the component A and B. In wet solid, we have both the component A and B. While while in filtrate only there will be liquid only. While there will be liquid in the filtrate. Okay. So here we have this filtration operation. Only one input that slurry is the input to this particular operation. And there are two output. First output is wet solid. Second output is filtrate. Now in this slurry there are two components. Component A stands for solid. B stands for liquid. And the composition of this particular component is there is given by this particular symbols X A S. X A S means what? Fraction of A in slurry. X A S means what? Fraction of A in slurry. X B S means what? Fraction of B in slurry. There are two component A and B. Coming to the wet solid. Wet solid is given by symbol W. Fraction of A in wet solid is given by X A W. Fraction of B in wet solid is given by X B W. Okay. Now coming to this filtrate. Filtrate A. Filtrate is given by symbol A. And here only there is liquid. Here there is only liquid. And therefore, therefore you can write down here as XBF that means fraction of liquid in filtrate will be 1. You can consider it is 1 because it is considered 100% pure. It is considered 100% pure. Okay. Now based upon this particular block diagram, we are going to write down material balance equation. Now material balance equation concerned to this particular filtration operation. I will write down the sum of this equation and I will explain that particular equation. So, first equation that is called total material balance equation. First equation, total material balance equation. As you see in this block diagram that there is only one input and that input is slurry. Input is slurry. So, that slurry must equal to wet solid plus filtrate. So, this slurry that must equal to wet solids plus filtrate at steady state. So whatever input must equal to output. So here there is input slurry and output. There are two output wet solid plus filtrate. So we get this first equation. S is equal to W plus F. This is our first equation. This equation is nothing but total material balance equation. Now come to second point here. Second equation. Now here second equation material balance of component A. Second equation material balance of component A. Okay. So as you see in this particular block diagram. You see that in this block diagram. The solids present in the slurry, solids present in the slurry, solids present in the slurry and solids present in the wet solid. While in the filtrate, in filtrate there is no solids, no solid. In filtrate no solids, that means 100% liquid we have considered. And therefore, and therefore when you write down the block, uh, when you write down the equation for material balance of component A, that means solids in slurry, A in slurry that equal to A in wet solids. Because in filtrate there is 0% solids. And therefore we get this equation A in slurry that is solids in slurry is equal to solids in wet solids. And how this solids in slurry is given? Solids in slurry is given by amount of slurry into fraction of Solids in slurry. X A S. That means fraction of solids in slurry. Here A stands for solid. That is equal to solids in wet solid. X means what? Solids. So solids in wet solid is given by this particular 
equation where W is the amount of weight solid and XAW means fraction of solids in weight solids or fraction of A in weight solids. So these two equations, these two equations that is concerned to this material balance equations of filtration and and with the help of this particular filtration equation you can find out unknown quantity. You can find out unknown quantity. Okay, now we will see how to use this equation to calculate unknown parameter in this particular filtration 